Hey guys, this is Mike Tarallo with Click, and welcome to the next video in the Do More with Click Tips and Tricks Edition series. In the last video, I showed you how to perform automated platform operations with Click Application Automation. In this video, I'm going to quickly show you how OEM Click Cloud tenants can apply some basic white labeling or branding utilizing our APIs. Before we continue, please be sure to visit the Click Learning Portal at learning.click.com for all your personalized and structured learning needs of what Click has to offer. Here you can select from both free and subscription-based content, instructor-led training, skills assessments, and robust video tutorials. Check out the video tour on the main page to get started. Okay, to get started, I am on the click.dev website. Now I'm in a preview mode because it's not published yet, but by the time I release this video, it should be published. I'm not going to go into how we use our APIs, how to set up Vera tokens and authorization and all that. You'll have to do that on your own. Perhaps in a future video, I'll spend some more time on that. But this feature that we're releasing is just quickly showing you how to change the branding of an OEM Click Cloud tenant. And this is available for only OEM tenants. So I'll just give you a quick example here. In this split pane, we have our OEM Click Analytics Services. So this is a server that is licensed for OEM, for example. And you'll notice it has a click branding, the logo here, and the favorite icon. Now I'm going to just execute an API request for a new endpoint called brands. And I've already set the authorization and the body parameters to do what I need to do. So I click send. And when I do that, I get an ID that comes back, which I'm going to use in the next part to activate the brand. And I'll give you a quick example of what I did here on the fly. So now I'm going to go to the other endpoint and I'm going to now enter the ID here where I'm going to activate this brand just by pasting that resulting ID that came back from the other uh, request. I click send and now this has been activated. Now I'm going to go to my OEM click cloud tenant and click refresh and you will see that the favorite icon as well as the uh, standard header icon has now been updated. I could simply go back and execute the deactivate endpoint. If I didn't show you in the last step, it was, the other one was the activate endpoint. And I'm just going to paste in the ID and click send. And that will execute the request. And now refresh my tenant and I'm back to the default branding. Okay, so let me just quickly show you something. I'm going to go to the set brand. You can see this is the brand's endpoint. Uh, we have some form data. Now, all of this will be described in the API documentation, but I'm using Postman. It's a lot easier. Uh, an example I showed earlier today in our shorts videos uh, was using curl directly from a command line prop. Whatever you're comfortable with to execute the APIs is one thing, but I just wanted to show you something really quick. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to delete this logo and I'm going to select another logo and we're going to do this logo to Acme Corporation. And then for the favorite icon, I'm just going to choose this older click view icon. And I have the necessary parameters here. I'm going to click send. And this is going to return an ID. I take that ID and I copy it. And then I go to the endpoint to activate. And you can see actions activate. I'm just going to paste in this particular ID. And now we activate it. And then if I refresh, you can see now we have the click view, the old click view icon for the favorite icon and the new Acme Corporation uh, logo. Okay, so that's just a quick video to show you that it's possible. Once again, it is for our valued OEM partners to be able to provide some uh, light customer uh, white labeling or branding to an existing Click Cloud tenant. If you have any questions, please post them where this video is posted and I'll happily accommodate and try to answer or put you in the right direction. All right, guys, take care and I'll see you on the next video.